So today it's our job to make sure life in the universe actually happens by taking this molten rock here and clicking on it a bunch of times to give us some energy. Entropy, that's what it's called. And we can use that to straight up buy planet Earth. So we just click it a few more times and then we can get some soup, some weird soup, which is gonna be the perfect home for some amino acids. There it is, the first amino acid we have. We're gonna need a lot of these. Thankfully it generates its own income so we can buy one more of these. And our planet Earth is already looking a lot more like a proper planet. It's all blue, that ba dee da do. And there's rocks flying out from behind the sun too. It's like a comet of sorts, which we can't afford. But now if we look back on the nuclear level, we can get some nucleotides. So we get a little more power from our entropy clicking, which allows us to buy the moon. the moon. So now that's just gonna casually orbit around the earth, which gives our clicking a bit more power so that we can buy some DNA. I'm not sure why DNA is life. It's like the blueprint, but it's a lot smaller than that. And that's all we could afford. So let's just click a few more times so we can buy it again because it gives us 0.26 entropy every second. We'll just buy enough of these so that we're getting one entropy a second. Ooh, and collect this golden ball that's going across here. So we get more free entropy. I don't even know what that is, but it's a funner word to say than energy. And now we can buy some protein with it. So the DNA becomes a lot more efficient. And that already bumps the value to two every second. And every time we buy more DNA, more gets added to the soup in here. And now that we have 600 of these, we could buy RNA or we could buy a prokaryotic cell, which gives two more entropy every second. First signs of life bubble up in the soup because we have an actual cell this time. We're just gonna go ahead and buy another one of those because everyone deserves a friend. Even if they don't really swim next to each other, they're kind of just bouncing around there. But now we can buy the RNA now so the amino acids get three times more efficient. Let's go ahead and buy some more of those. And then watch them start to bounce around like crazy. And now we actually have enough entropy to buy a volcano, which also helps the amino acid, surprisingly enough. It's not doing much for the visuals of Earth though. Everything seems to be happening down on this level. Oh wow, and the ozone layer costs 65,000 entropy. That's a bit of a ways to go. Let's just get a plasma membrane first to help the DNA. And we'll also buy as many amino acids as we can with a thousand entropy. So that boosts the number to 16. Oh yeah, that's spreading out very nicely. And then we'll do the same thing and buy as much DNA as we can. And all that raises our passive income by 28. Well, not raises it by, that's what it is. And then we buy basic things like the powerhouse of the cell. It's literally the first line in this. Then we just get a little more so we can buy a nucleus. And all these are helping the prokaryotic cell, which we could honestly use more of. And our soup is getting Getting quite full here it seems like and now we start to get to the spicy stuff like a virus for 1250 there and the bacterium which is also 1250 which actually helps the DNA right there but the prokaryotic cells are doing the most for us right now so we'll get more of those and it gets the DNA because we can afford it and then we'll buy enough amino acids to raise their income rate to 20 which will work out pretty well for us and we get some achievements as well because we bought 25 amino acids there's also this one here for the first organism and that gives us some free entropy i like it so now we can buy our first eukaryotic cell so many words i haven't read since biology and each of those gives us five entropy every second even though we haven't upgraded it at all that's pretty good for us and now our passive rate is at a hundred beautiful now let's see what other things we can get to help with the eukaryotic. Well, maybe not yet, but mitosis gives us better clicking power. So just by our fingers, we can increase the passive rate to 265, 285, even though that's not really passive at that point, but it's still good. And now's the fun stuff. Tissue gives the eukaryotic cell way more efficiency. And with 3000, we actually have enough to buy the solar system, which gives us even better clicking power. And we can actually afford one of these shooting stars now. Taps become 30 times more powerful yes please collect reward okay and go click as much as i can oh my gosh 900 every click Ooh, that is amazing just really making that click number shoot up here and 126 clicks gives us 123,000 entropy to use that is really good we can buy muscles right away which doesn't even help us yet but we might as well get it because the sponges it affects should be available right after we buy the filter feeding there it is by the sponge. Now we have our first little bit of sea life. Right there. Give him a pineapple to live under the sea. And those get 40 every second. That's looking really good for our rate. And cytoplasm surprisingly doesn't give us anything. Except daily mutations. Sure. And then we can use cloning power to get even better clicks. Oh, check it out. We can buy the Milky Way. Gives us better clicks oh. and hopefully... Ooh. 
Celestial phenomena? Oh, things are happening here. Oh, I have to click a bunch of times to actually make it happen. Send in the power. Ooh, that actually looks really pretty. And wow, we can really send it on a journey if we click down here. That's looking really cool. Tap away to accelerate. Oh, I think that's a black hole. Oh man. Wow, that looked cool. Whoa, okay. Uh, hello? Oh, evolution branch. Space, we expanded to space. Oh, lots of new things to go on here. Maybe a little too much for my scope right now. Let's go back to primary, because we still have a lot of work to do here. Like buying our first jellyfish. The journey begins. Look at that little thing. Just gliding around without a care in the world. As well as giving us 51 entropy every second. Let's go ahead and increase some of the other values here. Like Procario to 50. Get the DNA up pretty high as well to 40. That's pretty good right now. And I'm pretty sure we do get the achievement if we buy 25 DNA. There it is. Free entropy points. That should be good for us. And we do have this free income booster, so we might as well use it. And get even more jellyfish, because those are the best things ever. Okay, now it seems like the Earth has really picked up speed here. Shouldn't be a bad thing, right? I'm sure it's fine. We should get ourselves more sponges, though, to line the ocean floor. And let's not forget about the two other achievements we have to give us free entropy. And we can buy our first flatworm, which looks a little silly. Look at those eyes. There is absolutely nothing going on behind those eyes. You need to put a string on the end of your nose. But those give us 408 extra income a second. I like that. You get the jellyfish up to that amount and everything else pretty much. The amino acids especially. You guys need to pull your weight. But since I did just buy a lot of them, if we go back to this layer, oh yeah. That's actually really cool. Seeing them all just expand like that and then bounce around like DVD logos. Now, is there an achievement if I get 50 of these? I sure would like to know. There it is. And ooh, lots of points there. And we're also unlocking things in the middle of the tree down here, like polypeptides. These things are just weird named. For now, I can buy an ozone layer. Ooh, I wonder if that affects the view of the planet. Ozone layer, let's do it. Yeah, look at that, we got clouds. We also have a weird ominous like magnetism aura coming off of the earth here too. Not sure what that's about, but hey, we have a shooting star so we can boost ourselves again. Before I do that though, I'm gonna break out this guy. Set to the fastest pace should result in a lot of clicks. Oh yeah, we're crushing our old record. And we're also getting, oh my gosh, we already have 2 million entropy. Wow, this is powerful. 603 off of the auto clicker, not bad. And now we have 4 million entropy to work with. We could buy everything. There's also a mysterious rock that showed up here. Hello. Chip away at the secrets of an era long past. Okay. Ooh, and we can buy one of these for a lot of entropy. I'm starting to regret closing the auto clicker, but I'm already in it to win it here. So we're just gonna finish off the rock and see what we have. Ooh, are those bones? Fossils of sorts? Is glowing. Hopefully it's something good for us. Oh! Look at that, the T-Rex skull. Wow, we got bones. And there's a new branch of evolution, oh boy. And we go to the Mesozoic Valley and we can buy our first dinosaur, an archosaur. Oh, look at that thing marching around, that is so cool. He just doesn't have a care in the world, look at him. And we can charge you to generate fossils. So we can buy more dinosaurs and generate more fossils. I wasn't expecting to get the dinosaurs so soon, but I like it. Let's get a few more of these guys so we can have a whole pack roaming around. Where'd they go? Hello, I see you. I guess we might only get one of each here. Well, in that case, let's just get a new one. Ornithisia. Thiscia, Ornithischia. I don't know where they get these names, but is he about to take a drink of water? Or he's just gonna flex how much taller he is than the other guy. And so you generate, ooh, 60 fossils all on your own. That's amazing. I need these guys to generate fossils themselves. Okay, now I bought 10 of you. So now there's a separate thingy here. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Mutagen. I'm not sure what to do with that yet, but we can buy a Stegosaurus now. These I things are so cool. And he really has a strut going on to him, doesn't he? His head is also doing a pulsing thing, so that's kind of freaky. But we've already got the first makings of a dinosaur valley here. Did not think I would unlock this so soon. When we already have so much more that we could buy here, such as cocoons, vertebrae, Sea anemones with a made up name, swimming power for the jellies, radial symmetry, make them more efficient. We'll just buy a few more of these as well to get 10 of those. A nervous system, yes please. 
bilateral symmetry that makes the flatworms better and probably a few more flatworms. And we'll also buy a few more prokaryo cells to get the achievement for owning 25 of those. Oh, that gives 2 million entropy just by itself? And then the dinosaur one as well? That is incredible because we need a million and change to get nerve cords. And oh gosh, medulla oblongata. I feel bad for whoever had to name those things, but look at all the flatworms that just spouted out everywhere. We could probably get more sponges too. And we can buy our first fish. And he's a sizable fish too. Swimming straight down to the ocean floor and not caring about anything. I don't blame him since he gives 6,800 entropy a second. I'll also get a few more eukaryotic cells to have 25 of those. And then 5 million can give us something else. Yeah, fish eggs and pigment spots and both of these things I don't want to read. We've got a lot of good things happening in our tech tree of life here. And we can also give our fish gills to make them more efficient. Ooh, a lungfish. <gasps> We're about to get like the first weird thing that crawled on land. We just need a lot more than 1.8 million here. Specifically 5 million to get the lungfish. And then we just keep buying more fish so our one isn't alone. I also love that they have all this like ocean expanse behind them and they're only swimming in this one little circle. So why don't we just fill that with a whole bunch of sponges which all populate right here. That works for me. And if we just buy a few more fish as well as a few more flatworms because those are way cheaper and a few jellyfish because those are cheaper yet. Now our entropy rate is 100,000. I mean, that's a doubled, but hey, you take what you get, right? Whoa, I didn't know how I did that. Wee! And we actually only need two more sponges to get that achievement. Free entropy points there. Oh, 12 million of them. That's perfect. Now we can get cold blooded. The fish are more efficient. Efficient, get it? And then we just need to buy something else that's super cheap, like DNA and a lot of it. So it explodes in the soup. And then we get 13 million entropy there, which gives us enough to unlock tetrapods. Super weird fish with legs. First animals emerge from the ocean and start living on dry land. And look at him go. He's like a wish.com alligator. And woo, he's got a fun new world to expand into. This is gonna host a lot of things here. We got winter stuff here, forest. And then I guess he washed up in the savannah and this achievement should give us a whole lot. Oh yeah, 27 million. So if I buy another tetrapod, will you get a friend right next to you? Let's see, tetrapod. Yeah, there he is right there. I don't even know where he's going, but he's there and he's existing and we have life on land now instead of in the ocean because we're starting to get a little clogged here. Not even to mention the soup. And it looks like we're actually starting to get a little bit of green on the earth as well. This is looking really fun and we have a lot of life to get through as well. But we'll get some fish fins and chromosomes as well to aid things down here. And we'll just have a third tetrapod get our clicky rate to 476,000. Man, it's crazy that we're already here, but there's still a lot more to get through as well. So I think that's a good place to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, then be sure to let me know. I really can't wait to see what else we unlock, especially with all these funky dinosaurs here as well. So thank you guys very much for watching. Sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Vivian X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sex, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily, and The Minor Within.